but either way, we're hopping into this match. The Smile Requiem again. skin coming out. Requiem, of course. Signature skins for some signature players. Let's go into game number one on PS2, because of course, as Tony says, he makes the best games. Let's see how this goes around. As already, you can see what MG Cat wants. The Nairs. And you see what Requiem wants. He wants those charge shot confirms, and he wants to poke at you very carefully with it. Backing up constantly, and being very careful with it, only for MG Cat to find you with that back there. And here's the Nair train. Gonna end it quick with a double forwarded. Triple, we're still going. Oh my goodness. Yeah. You get that one train, you give them that one lead, and man. they just take it away so immaculately here. Yeah, man, that's the thing with uh, that's the thing with Empty Cat and with Palutena. You can just push buttons on your opponent and frame trap them until the end of time. But I mean, what happens when you're in disadvantage? You can use the teleport cancel to get out of it anyway. Empty Cat able to reset the neutral and uh, to get themselves out of a bad spot. Also, with the explosive flame. Oh my oh, god! What? <laughs> what no, a hitbox! It's the Twitter thing! The thing that yeah. people talk about on Twitter all the time. That's funny. I've seen the. That's funny. I've only seen it on Twitter. I've not seen it in this position. Yeah. It's honestly pretty funny how much it happens. And it's also pretty funny how Requiem is getting all of these reads to get that 38%. Had that air dodge read but didn't quite pull the trigger at the right time, only to come off the lid with a fear verse? Excuse me? Okay. That's a thing? Yo, I don't know. I I'm didn't even see Requiem move. <laughs> right. Oh my god, bro. Blink of an eye, bro. Blink of an eye. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, get that pen and paper, because we're getting a lot of weird interactions in this matchup. You're going to be learning a lot as we, oh, yeah. as the set progresses. Yeah, I'm definitely learning quite a bit here. And also, speaking of learning quite a bit, using the Nair to, ep to poke into the up tilt, I think that Requiem is going to learn about that mix up a little bit after he drops the stock and MP Cat not wanting to stop. Realizing how much of the damage deficit they are down by, but Requiem able to get out of this advantage only to be put back into it with these up airs. And oh man, my goodness. What an amazing sharking tool MP Cat is using right now. That's no jump. That's no jump. This could be the edge guard. But no, Requiem getting out of it only to go high and put himself in tons of end lag, man. Okay, this might be the yeet. Oh, actually, trying to set up for the air dodge, but Requiem super cognizant right there. Gonna air dodge behind, avoiding yeah. that up smash. Also, can we talk about how amazing it is that Empty Cat has been able to bring this game back to even? They were Yo. losing by a full stock, like a complete full stock, and are now up about, not a full stock, but still, okay, still even. Like, the fact that this man has brought it to even just shows how proficient he is with Palutena, but Requiem also wants to show this proficiency, getting out of those near loops a lot earlier than he normally does. Now it's to con continue to retreat with the charge shot. That's the thing I feel like why people still sleep on Palutena. I, I know like we knew it was a really good character in the first place, but now after this patch and all, people are just like, oh, it's not a good character anymore. Oh, but yeah. so many people, I feel, were playing her very flowcharty. And honestly, Palutena could be super explosive, has the tools to just like mix up like mad. Those smash attacks sort of just come out of nowhere. The explosive flame, the soft explosive flame too, you know, the, the shortened one. Yes. So you're able to put in so much work with this character. Yeah, you are, man. And we can see that we're coming into the full momentum as the drag down up air does not lead to a confirm, but only for there to be the dash deck. Empty Cat's pressure is insane, and the pressure might just be a bit much for Requiem in this game number one. As he's still able to reset neutral, though, still staying on his toes with the charge shots, but at this point, Empty Cat's figured it out. Just going to shield every time, be patient when they have to, and in the neutral, just wait for the opening. I don't know, man. I don't want to. No, we're not. I don't want to speak too early, we're but yo. <laughs> I feel like yeah. I feel like the downward was kind of there. We just kind of saw Requiem going for a lot of those same short hop up airs, just trying to shark at him through Palutena, and just going for those same retreating shard shots. And Empty Cat figured it out. That is why you see game number one going to them. Oh man, what a match already! Empty yeah. Cat's so good. I, I feel like Empty Cat after SWT, you know, didn't make it out. Um, what? I, I'm not too sure, actually. Either way. I mean, there's, there's so many brackets for that, man. I think I'm going to enter SWT because, like, why not, right? It's free to enter.
true. I'm waiting for the uh, the Canada one to do, and then you know, we're gonna hop in there. Also, speaking of SWT, we ha I uh, can confirm that Empty Cat is from a place which the flag is a blue line, two blue lines, one at the top, one at the bottom, and then like, <laughs> and then like in the middle, there's like it's a okay, pink Kodra. red line. Kodra. Like between the Kodra. blue lines and the, the red it's line, okay. there's like a white, like a, a white, like line thing. Empty so Cat is in chat. That is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's okay, from South. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, Sorry, man. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's go into uh, let's go into game number two here. Requiem going to opt for the uh, the small battlefield on this pick, and we're gonna see Empty Cat opt to throw out these auto reticles into these nares, into these back airs, and to apply so much damage. Already 77%, oh my goodness. I don't know, the way it's looking, Empty Cat sort of saying, hey, this is just practice for SWT. Yeah. Like, sort of giving Requiem a run for their money, especially with that counter into dash attack as well. Oh my god, sniping out. There's no mix-ups here, Requiem. You cannot mess me up like that. Yeah, that's dead. No, oh. actually, oh. probably not, not uh, getting the killing oh. blow, but... Oh, man. Yep, Got him with the, yeah, the, the, the sort of coin spike. My goodness. Okay, but Requiem trying to answer back in a big way, already getting on like 67 something percent just like that, and the back air, not quite gonna seal the deal out just yet, but the percent are huge, wow. and the normal getup reads are huger, Requiem in the blink of an eye, if you blinked it, you missed it, evens the setup, two to two stocks, well not set, but game up, two to two stocks, you love to see it, still fighting hard for this win. That was looking like deja vu, like anytime the opposing, like, opponent, is off stage, they just take it a mile and they don't get them off the ledge until they get the kill. So both these players are so good at the ledge trapping. Yeah, man. Well, the ledge trapping is where these guys are gonna find their homes and their win conditions. However, Empty Cat showing that their win condition is also in the neutral, still trying to get those nares. But Requiem showing that his win condition is also in this neutral, gonna find the jab into the dash deck, trying to push him off, trying to get this ledge trap now. But Empty Cat goes high, only to be pushed off by the F kill and reset it nonetheless. So many mix ups on <gasps> them, oh! but only so many mix ups can work. Up smash oh! to cover the roll. Requiem has found himself leading this game. Oh, that covered so many things from Palutena. Covered like any regular button besides roll away. Everything was covered with that up smash. Amazing stuff. Amazing, bro. Literally just crazy. And Requiem showing that he is still going amazing, crazy, spectacular, stupendous, uh, revolutionary, uh, unprecedented. Uh, Super nutty. califragilistic expialidocious. Precisely. Requiem out here. I mean, all those many, many words that we are not going to lose for a second time are trying to be put down from Empty Cat. That's the side B to take that stock out, and now we're looking at a relatively even game. Okay, now going back to complete even as we see the damage from Empty Cat start to be racked on. All right, these nooch is coming out. The Nair train doesn't stop for anyone here, buddy. Yeah. Definitely not, man. The Nair trains and the Dare trains, nothing stops here. As you can see, the continual pressure from Empty Cat actually going to be alleviated now by Requiem and getting the bomb and getting the bomb and getting the bomb and not getting and getting the bomb and getting the bomb. Oh my god! <laughs> so the many suspense. bombs. Oh, the suspense is killing me. Killing me too, but it's not killing Empty Cat right now. As you can see, able to reset this neutral, trying to get the side and Requiem. Barely mistiming that back air. Definitely could have had the stock for it, but as a result, Empty Cat still another lease on life, and the landlord has not come calling for it yet. Side B, not quite gonna find it yet, but the dash deck beats out the other one. This is such a tense scenario. Who's gonna take it? It's going to be Empty Cat with the side B to cover the landing. Takes the set 2-0. Man, that was a setup. I'm calling that was a setup. Getting hit by so many bombs like that, Definitely. racking up all of that rage for Empty Cat. Crazy 